All right, we're going to move on to another caller here at the 719 area code. 719, what's going on? Who are you, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Colorado. How are you guys doing tonight? Colorado, what's your name? Hello? Can uh, you hear us? This is Michael. Actually. Michael. Yeah, can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you fine, Michael. What's going on? Hello? Okay, sir. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of getting back into wrestling. Like, you know, in high school, I went, uh, I'm not sure... I didn't go like nationals with like some of my crew, but I went uh I went state and it was it was fun. It's a lot of fun. Now I'm uh, 23 and I'm thinking about doing it again. You know, I'm just uh, wondering if you guys know of any good places out in Colorado that I can go train at. I heard altitude was was a decent place, but hmm, I don't know anything off the top of my head in Colorado. Does anybody else? Um, I don't believe there's any schools that I know about. Um, I, know, I know Jesse left a nice little comment on Google.com for you, your best friend. But um, the one thing I will say to look out for is probably if a promoter asks you for money to like be on a show or if they ask you for like extra fees for certain things like training, make sure, one, the person's like checked and tested – to do a bit of research on the schools that you're basically going to go to or if you like them or not because they do usually charge you initial fees to train there but if they've got a good rep with a reputable company such as the WWE or Ring of Honor or something like that then that can kind of get your foot in the door there and if you decide to transition from like wrestling to um, uh, say like refereeing or even commentary you could actually have a good chance of doing that and um, just make sure that no one is, as I said, don't, if they ask you for money for other stuff, like to be on shows and cards and stuff like that as well, just avoid them like the plague. Because there's a lot of these places opening up where people think they can book a show and end up um, causing people a lot of hassle. New Era Wrestling yeah, and IWF yeah, are two. What was that, Chester? New Era Wrestling and IWF are the two on Google that I saw. Now, if you are ever in the New Jersey area, I could recommend to you Old Time Wrestling, the OTW Pro Wrestling Club. That's uh, the organization that I work with, and they're uh, they're very good with being able to be accommodating and uh, trying to work with schedules and all that other kind of stuff. Colorado, obviously, it's too far away to be able to migrate to that in uh, you know like a regular basis or anything like that. We do have people that come from a whole wide range of areas but that's um that's the only one that i know personally but uh if we yeah if we come across anything across uh the colorado area then um maybe i'll put some maybe i'll start doing that kind of stuff on the website and kind of let people know that kind of information do you have any questions for us yeah that'd be cool uh yeah well i actually had a weird comment um I actually had a pretty bad experience last time. Uh, I think it was last year when I tried to go, but, you know, work and all that just kept me from going. But I actually had a bad experience last summer when I tried to train at a gym. Um, you know, my coach was, he was all right, but the people that were there, you know, like one time um, I went in the locker room and Shrek comes out and starts shoving punching bags up my anus and lubes it up with uh, onion juice. <laughs> <laughs> and it felt really good, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all my friends figured out. What the hell just happened? Oh my god, I'm I'm so glad that we finally got one of the people that did that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, Hank talk. It is real. It's been a while, dude. It's been a while. Uh, uh <laughs> the punching bag really fucked up my rectum. Listen, uh, I, I, dude, trust me, punching bags fuck me up all the time. Just yeah, you get used to it. Speaking from experience, yeah, too, but not right? an asshole, man. That was that yeah. Was like well, well, not punching bags, just uh, uh, bounce houses. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like they were like the Shrek, the Shrek, the Shrek race, but the name was Armadillo. <laughs> what in the hell is going on? I give you an A. I give you an A for an overall score, there, mate. That was that was a great lead in. That's fantastic. I got such a huge smile on my face because I didn't see that coming afterward. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate the call, Michael, and, um, you know, good, good luck in the future with all the Colorado stuff. If it's legit. If it isn't, then great setup. Hey, and, uh, wrestling is going to watch out for punching yeah. bags, that's all. Yeah. And bounce houses. Got to watch out for that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, like, uh, you need a toilet pillow as well. <laughs> Helps with the bad anus. <laughs> all right, thanks for calling in, Michael. <laughs> Oh, God. 
Oh my god, that was Classic fantastic. Material <laughs> right there. Uh, Riveting stuff. Dude, I, I know his pain. I know his pain. <laughs> Drew, you're a champion. I don't this know, is I this is the audience your show attracts, Tony. Uh, I I love. It. I was hoping that we would get somebody like that. Well, I'm surprised it wasn't someone with Kurt Angle and dicks. <laughs> Apparently, it is kind of rampant though. We're going to probably be getting a lot more guys, so watch out for that. Uh, who knows? Um, what the last time no, we, we got Drew about, here, yeah. was uh, the Randy Orton attacked by a fan situation like that. We kind of hit everything that I was thinking about talking about. But is there anything else that you guys wanted to mention? I really do think I just want to mention one thing. Oh, one gesture. The way he got into the ring was like, he's posing like he's a fucking wrestler. He's just like doing the whole stalking thing, looking at him from behind. He just runs up and does the whole low blow like a wrestler would do, does the perfect arm movement up. Sure, he could have been fucking around and doing whatever he's trying to do to get his name out there, but would they really do a storyline like that? That's... on a house, house show in South Africa tour for no less. I think they're trying to make it as real as possible. And I think that you, you've seen, like, the way security is at wrestling shows, like, they're always eyeballing those people in the front. And they would immediately have tackled the guy on the outside of the ring before he even got a chance to get in the ring. I remember um, reading uh, somewhere that um, when Eddie Guerrero had a match with somebody and some, some fan actually got into the ring, was about to push over the ladder, and he had security on him so quick, tips him out of, just, just shoves him out of the ring. Yeah, that, there's right. no way he would have gotten the full motion to low blow Randy. Randy wouldn't have and noticed stop. the guy coming in. The crowd, the, the security wouldn't have been able to stop him from getting in the ring. Like, there's no way. Actually, actually, Chris, he did knock over the ring. I remember that. I actually remember that matchup. Uh, watching that on Raw, that was uh, RVD versus uh, Eddie in a ladder yeah. match. And the guy ran in as Eddie was climbing up the ladder, pushed it over, but Eddie was able to land on his feet, and he just he ran after the guy, and the guy managed to um, slink out of the ring, and then security was on him like that. But uh, yeah, I, I agree with you. We're it, gonna. It, what was that last thought, Miguel? No, I, I agree. It, it was. It seemed way too clean for it to be real. I mean, it's about as real as when that guy ran in on Randy Orton's matchup at SummerSlam against against uh, John Cena a couple years ago. All right, we're gonna move on to another caller here, Jamal Little One. What's going on, Jamal? Not much, man. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> you got anything you want to talk about? Uh, a little bit, man. A little bit. Um. So, I was listening to you uh, talking about the ladder, uh, sorry, the ladder match, and um, I was wondering, what was your kind of, uh, your favorite setup, to, to put it, you know, uh, what, was, what would you say is your favorite setup of match to watch? Our favorite kind of uh, gimmick matches and stuff? Yeah. I don't, I'm a big fan of of ladder matches um i probably would say though out of everything i really love the royal rumble and i love battle royals uh i don't like the divas battle royals at all i think that they're horrible (laughs) especially because they go under the ropes but uh i would go with battle royal you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a quick uh round the horn thing here drew what do you think uh well i was about to make fun of you because you like ladder matches but you hate the tlc match well, that's because it's the same thing. They just give it the same stupid name. Uh, my favorite... Uh, so, pretty much you're asking favorite gimmick to a match? Yeah. Huh? I go with the I Quit match. I've always I've always enjoyed a good I Quit match. I don't know why. I, I, I would go on about, like, every single gimmick. But honestly, if the gimmick worked for the... What what the what the matchup like uh, with the build to it? Then it, to me, uh, it's good. But you know, if I had to pick one out of any, it'd be the I Quit match. Jester, what's your choice? Uh, I like the Rumble a lot too, but I'm gonna go with the Chamber. I always really look forward to the Chamber. I like the Chamber a lot. Sean, Iron Man match. Iron Man, nice choice, Miguel. Hmm. I'd probably have to go with TLC just because of the um. The connotations behind it. TLC was one of the bit the 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 uh, one of the first pay per views I saw was SummerSlam 2000 where they debuted the TLC match. So I've always had a soft spot in my heart for it. For Although him? the TLC pay per views have pretty much almost killed that. What do you think, Burhan? 
Um, for me, I would have to go with the TNA's Reverse Battle Royal. <laughs> oh, I'm not joking. Uh, I, I would literally, for me, it's the Hell in a Cell. And the reason being, um, have it seen Mankind versus Undertaker. And it has a Cell match. And the brutality in that, that was the one match I could actually walk around and go to people, ha ha, wrestling is real. So I'll go with that one. And Braden, what do you think? I would say the ladder matches, any sort of form of them, whether it's just a regular one-on-one ladder match, the TLC, or Money in the Bank, any form of them. They're the, it's like the one gimmick I really kind of still have any sort of like excitement for. And it's weird because it's so overdone, which is uh, – it used to be hell in a cell. It really did. But for whatever reason, that pay-per-view has just sunk that gimmick so far over the last few years, hasn't it? For most of you, yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much just cool. bigger cage matches now. Like they don't even do anything that makes them hell in a cell. They're just bigger cage matches that they can yeah. leave. How about the Punjabi prison? Dude, I <laughs> never watched that. Hell in Another cell. Punjabi prison. Honestly, honestly I yeah. think it, that's a very good idea for a match. They just always had terrible people doing it. Well, and they we have the jumps to that other wall. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Now, Jamal, I have a question for you. Do you think that? The same kind of thing that I do, where the TLC match and the ladder match, that they shouldn't call it anything different. They should just call it a ladder match, because it's the same kind of basic gimmick. Um, I have to agree, to be fair. Um, TLC and ladder match are pretty much the same now. Um, I mean, there can be slight deviations, but uh, nothing I would want to uh, have two different names for it, to be honest. Yeah, see, Miguel? <laughs> Pick the TLC match. Honestly, I'm surprised they really haven't incorporated the TLC version of the Money in the Bank match yet. I could... I, would, which surprises me. I, I th- that I'm guessing be that's because they usually put their main event stars in there and they they would never risk the main event guys doing a match like that. I mean, let let the let the smaller undercard guys, you know, do that kind of risk. Last thing we need to see is John Cena in more TLC well, type matches. So why why not do it? For, like why 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 can't they just do it with the World Heavyweight uh, Money in the Bank match then this uh, past year or like a few past month? Hmm, that would have been interesting. Because you know the, the only one who's won a heavyweight championship in that group was Jack Swagger, and no one cares about it anymore. So I don't see. Yeah, you know, they could have done it. And, I highly doubt anyone would complain about it. It's something new. I would think they would. Do, I would think they want to save the TLC gimmick for the TLC pay per view. You know, you don't want to incorporate that gimmick as the main yeah. event of another pay per view. Yeah, true. Well, except we get we got Hell in a Cell matches at what, WrestleMania and a Hell in the Cell. Yeah, but that was that was a special situation. That was it was a streak. Damn it, <laughs> Jamal. Do you by any chance know what the answer to the S was? Pardon? They ask him a question. Uh, Burhan, give us uh, another recap. Okay, Jamal. Um, do you know a, a family similar to the Wyatt family who was in the WWE? They were former... Were they tag team? Yeah, I believe they were former tag team champions. Um, do you know the name of them? And do you know who they were managed by? Um, oh, God. Can I make a guess oh. at this as well? Let them all take a guess first. Okay. Uh, the White family. Oh, they look the White family. So you know they're probably country boys. Well, no, can't think of one to be honest. Um, can't. Doesn't come to my mind. So. <laughs> hmm. Okay, you know what? You want to take a swing at it? Pardon? What? Drew, you want to take a swing at it? Okay, um, can I have can I have the decade of when this group was around? The Attitude Era. Attitude Era. So, like, 2000s? Early 2000s? Well, or, is it, 90s, 90s. or is it, like, 90s? Ah, oh, fuck, never mind. I was going to... Never mind, if it was... Yeah, never mind. I, I give well, up. <laughs> we'll leave it off to the rest of the callers on the board. If you can answer it, 760-512-7247. That's 760-512-7247. Or click on the Skype button. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, say the Spirit Squad, just so no one attempts to say that. 
And we do have actually a new caller that might be trying to get in. So um, is there any real quick uh, stuff you want to say before we leave, Jamal? Um, yeah. Why is it the white family? What kind of racist shit is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm in charge of it. I'm the secret leader God of the white damn. family. Oh, I'm man. I'm more I'm more annoyed at the fact that they're all called the Wyatt family. Yet I think they've established that all the other members have different last names. <laughs> all yeah, right, Jamal. I mean, thanks for calling in. Even one black guy in there. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> thanks for calling in, Jamal. We're gonna move on to the 407 area code here. 407. Orlando, what is your Florida. name and where are you calling from? I was just going to say, that guy has the most epic voice ever. Four Is that John Coffey you? from the Green Mile? What's that? That sounded like John Coffey from the Green Mile. Every time he opened his mouth, I just kept wanting to say, just like the drink, only spelled different. <laughs> Do we have a uh, caller from 407? <laughs> yeah, this is caller number 407. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. What's your name? What's up, partner? Oh, no, this is Robert from uh, Orlando, Florida, uh, Awesome Canada, 1021. Robert, oh, Awesome Canada. Hey. 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 Howdy. Well, hey. wonder where you've been gone. You know, we haven't seen you on the, the Smart Cat Moment channel. What's happening? You never see me. Well, we don't. We we can't see you. He's the Mandarin. You'll never see him coming. You can't see me. <laughs> like John Cena. <laughs> if he's the Mandarin, does that mean he's actually an actor from Britain? No, <laughs> yeah. I don't know the comic book. here. <laughs> All terrorists are actors from Britain. Do, 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 do. What's going on, Robert? <laughs> that was much good. How you guys doing? Not too bad, not too bad. Good episode going through so far. I'm really liking uh, everybody that's chiming in here. Yeah, I don't really like that I'm chiming in, and uh, everyone's actually pretty epic when they're calling in right now. So, <laughs> no, nah, nah, dude, it's always, it's always epic when you call in. You know, you just, you just gotta keep uh, your chin up, a uh, good smile on your face. Uh, even though we can't see that smile, uh, we should smile anyways. <laughs> they might be epic, but they're not awesome. Yeah. Was that, was oh, that actually yeah. like a guy from Colorado? Because it sounded like... I, I wish you guys didn't laugh as much when he called in, because he had a good story going on. Let's be honest here. I like Jamal. So, Robert, <laughs> let me ask you a question. I don't from Colorado, not Jamal. Being a um, uh, wrestling enthusiast yourself, and someone who's probably familiar with the, the Attitude Era, can you answer the Ask Him that I've put out for everybody? That's what I was trying to call in for, and I'm going to guess it's the Bushwhackers, but I'm not sure. Well, you're looking at rock and wrestling. Think about a little more Southern. I can only think of more one southern? group. The Generation X. <laughs> what was that you said, Robert? <laughs> no, I didn't say anything. I, I said the Bushwhackers, but um, you said more Southern than that. Uh it doesn't get much more southern than the Bushwhackers. <laughs> yeah, Michael Burhan and Dixie Carter. There, done. <laughs> uh, we are gonna run. We are gonna run down TNA and Dixie Carter. Believe me, that is happening in this episode for sure. So we can do it live. No, oh, yeah, perfect. We, you know, yeah. so that way everybody knows that this is exactly how we are when we're recording the show, and it's not uh, just me editing out a bunch of crap or like <laughs> this is as awful as it will uh no you know what i, I don't want to say that because then it's going to end up getting worse <laughs> well uh, lucky we've got a special guest here in hank hill who can tell it as it is especially about propane and, and propane appliances propane. accessories propane Brand. accessories <laughs> damn it sorry bobby <laughs> we'll get him on track i know you that have boy to ain't so. right that boy ain't right. You know, uh, Bobby was wanting to paint his bedroom one day, and he wanted to paint some clouds on the wall. And I said, Bobby, no son of mine is going to have clouds painted on his bedroom wall. <laughs> I actually oh, know that God. episode, and I hate King of the Hill. Oh, my well, God. that's good. Uh, you watch uh... my stuff. <laughs> Robert, do you want to stay on the line and tell us a little bit about the hot tags, or do you have to go or anything? Oh, yeah, you can keep me on. That's fine. You can just put me on mute. All right, well, what we're going to do is we're going to end up having another caller here from the 203 area code. 203, what's going on? What's your name? Where are you calling from? How's it going, guys? It's Graham. It's Graham. Hey, Graham, what's going on? 
Hey, how's it going, Tony? Uh, yeah, from Connecticut, I have a quick question for you, and I also want to try to answer the guy, the question that you guys proposed before. All righty. Let's see if Mr. Bleacher Report, the uh, all-star himself, could get this right. Is the Godwins correct? Yeah. Somebody's tuning up Google. <laughs> uh, okay. You are correct, Graham. It's the Godwins. Finally. Thank you very much. Sweet. Yeah, I didn't have that no. week up or anything like that, and I was about to say it. As a bonus, can you name like both their managers? Oh, no, I can't. No, I just remember the Godwins being familiar and people comparing them to Wyatt Family. That's all I know. Sorry. And uh, believe it or not, a little tidbit with that as well. Mark Canterbury, who played um, Henry O. Godwin, was actually going to make a return on the SmackDown brand before uh, Jess and Festus came out. He was actually going to be Jess's tag team partner. So there you go. The more you know. Henry Godwin was going to be? He was going to be Jess's tag team partner. Yep. Um, and then he got released. That would have been freaking weird. <laughs> I think it would have worked. Wasn't he like 60 now? Yeah. I think it would have worked, or you could have managed the two. Hmm. He's 49. That's it? Mark, oh. Yeah, Mark Canterbury's 49 years old. Henry Godwin. He looks awful. <laughs> well, Especially when he looks know most of them boys do. <laughs> Knowing Graham, he's got an article about this already up. Is that true? Uh, Earth to Graham. Uh, wait, hey, my bet. Uh, did someone say my name? What? <laughs> no, I'm just joking about how often you post on Bleacher Report. Oh, yeah, I... uh. I, you know, I uh, post all there twice uh, a day. <laughs> it makes me look bad. I hate yeah, it. I, I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Graham, are you staying hey, on the uh, line? Which one, or are you... You, which, which one of you guys runs the uh, the Twitter site there for the smart out moment? I do. I do. Well, my God, who's I? Tony does. Oh. Well, I was trying to tweet you there, Bobby, but uh, not getting a response. <laughs> uh, I'm not actually uh, on Twitter right now. I pay as oh, little... You don't, you don't let people tweet you live on the show? This is the first live edition. First oh, my God, I feel special. <laughs> we got the chat room for everybody who wants to join the chat at uh, blogtalkradio.com slash megapowersradio. Obviously, as we've been taking a bunch of callers in, you can call in 76... 76- zero five one two seven two four seven and if for some reason you're listening to this after the fact and all that remember you guys can always comment on the youtube channel or on the smartoutmoment.com uh the post that we have every single week where we don't do the little bit of a breakdown of what kind of stuff we talked about so no twitter <laughs> well roger that <laughs> Graham, are you staying on the line with us or are you uh, heading out? I think you're heading out. Graham. Somebody, hey, can somebody pull his chain? <laughs> <laughs> I think we might have uh, we might have lost Graham. So we're scared him away. Graham, for everybody who doesn't know, uh, he is, as I mentioned before, a Bleacher Report writer. He uh, is far more advanced than I am on the site, and fantastic. So make sure you check out his work. It's it's really great. Um, do we still have Robert here? He is. Yeah, he's still on the line. Hello. Uh, ready? Just make, double checking that we didn't lose uh, that too. We got another caller here. Whoa! Just a oh, no, little nowhere. Four eight four area code. Four eight four. What's your name? Where are you calling from? What's going on? Okay. Uh, it's me, Dominic again. <laughs> Oh, and, Dominic, uh, all right, what's up? I, I guess I saw one really important question that I forgot to ask you guys, and that's, you know, a lot of people have been turning uh, face lately, like CM Punk, Ziggler, Cody Rhodes, and Henry, and the only main person right now that's, you know, always on the card is Del Rio. He's like the main face right now in the industry. I mean, the main heel. And what person would you want to see turn heel? That's a good question. Oh, Sam turn Punk. heel. Oh, but start seeing Punk back heel. Besides Randy Orton. Well, before we start sounding in here, who would you like to see, Dominic? Personally, I think 
Jericho has been on a losing streak. I think he should turn heel and get a big push. Hmm. All right, let's go a little around the horn here. Drew. Um, and Well, everyone wants to see that Cena heel turn. That's never going to happen unless he just shakes his heel on television. But besides for that, um, I'd go with Sheamus, mainly because they're not really doing much of him besides for giving him wins on Raw just from that bro kick fella. So if I had a, you know, a heel turn might be good for him. I, I highly doubt anyone else here agrees with me on that. But uh, out, of, out of all the faces, you know, why not turn him heel? Who do you think, Chester? If I can't have John Cena, then Christian. Why Christian? Uh, I've always enjoyed his work as a heel better. When he was doing the one more match to be an annoying little twat and get a rise out of the crowd, it was a lot more entertaining. I, uh, really? I, I've always preferred Christian as a heel. But I absolutely, 100% unequivocally think that John Cena needs to turn heel. His character is stale as hell. I'm tired of it. I'm over it. John Cena's the guy, I'm but I'm not allowed to John Cena than Christian. I'm hmm. tired of everything about John Cena. If there's anyone that they could turn him heel against, it's Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan gets more of a crowd reaction than him. By far, positive reaction. Robert, who do you think? Am I still on? Yep. Oh, I was going to say as well, too. I agree with, uh, who, who's, who is that just last now? Jester. Uh, yeah, I agree with Jester. Uh, I thought that when um, Daniel Bryan was picked as the number one contender, he John Cena was that was like the perfect opportunity uh, to be a heel right there. Like, I, you could see that his character was like almost jealous of the uh, crowd reaction because he only gets mixed reactions, and Daniel Bryan had the entire crowd uh, behind him with the yes chance. That was just the perfect time right there. Hmm, Clint, what do you think? Who? <laughs> Hank. Uh, you know, I'm ready to see uh, either Kerwin White or the Yeti turn heel. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel, who'd you like to see turn heel? Uh, probably because I think he's just bland as a face. I'm going to go with The Miz. I, I, he, to me, as, as a face, he brings nothing to the table. I think he's just kind of there. At least as a heel, he could show some sort of personality and really branch out. So, uh, if I had to, if I had to turn somebody in the, in the WWE heel that isn't already John Cena or Sheamus, I'd probably go with the Miz. That is mm. good. I I'm, I, I kind of want to change mine to the Miz. Now. I didn't even think about it mainly because he's been irrelevant for the past like two months. So I'd I, I'd go with the Miz as well. What do you think, Braden? Uh, everybody just said it right before me. I was going to say the Miz absolutely needs to turn back heel because his career is as dead as a baby face. That, that, it's like his career thrives or like survives on just being that douchebag from reality TV that everybody hates. I mean, it's being the pandering, awesome, corny joke spewing baby, it, baby face. It just does not work. I mean, has he really been relevant at all since the turn first happened? Uh, he won the Intercontinental Championship, but besides with that, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Oh, that one yeah. day, well, Jane, for, yeah. For a day, yeah, that one day. <laughs> and we're yeah, going to we're gonna take that over to the person well, who's uh, taking uh, charge of the chat right now. Burhan, what do you think? Sorry, I had a screaming child in the background. I'll put it on mute. Uh, apologize. I, for that, I would say our truth and the biggest reason being the guy needs a proper push they don't know what to do with him they're trying to put him back in that old awful rapper gimmick and he needs to go back to his little jimmies um but i think the the whole issue with with truth turning him face was just the worst idea they ever made and yeah, nice what, you gotta, what you got to understand burhan is it's a conspiracy c <laughs> o n conspiracy <laughs> I and miss not be no spiders on them ladders. <laughs> it was, it was <laughs> the wide. so fucking great when he was the heel. Yeah. And we finally got uh, Sean Walker back into the chat. Sean, if anybody turns heel in WWE, who would you like to see end up uh, being that person to turn heel? The Miz. Oof. For the love of God, for the Miz. A lot of Miz talk here. I'm actually going to pick somebody that uh, that nobody's mentioned. And... It's kind of one of those weird things that 
this isn't going to be like you know some fix that will like cure everything in WWE or any of that kind of stuff. But I'd like to see Zack Ryder turn heel. Oh. And the reason behind I'm it say that. is because woo, woo, woo. I like babyface oh, you know Dolph it. Ziggler. Or not, not Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> the baby, babyface uh, Zack Ryder. But they clearly don't want to push him. And if they're not going to push him as a babyface, he's either going to sit there and do nothing until they fire him or... Why not turn him heel, see what happens, have him either join with the real Americans, or just have him be a part of a heel tag team or something like that. One man band, three man band, make it a four man band. Yeah, he could end up singing the way that he did on his uh, his YouTube show. Uh, wait, what is it? Host, his new song, Hosky? Yeah, he could sing Hosky as a part of that. I have a, I have an honorable an honorable mention, by the way. Who's that? I think I... Just because I think he, he, I think he's always worked better as a heel than a babyface. I wouldn't mind seeing Triple H turn heel. I was thinking about saying about him, but he, he doesn't play inactive enough for all for it to mean anything. That's my reason no, too. Yeah, he doesn't it, have enough matches for it to matter. True, but at the same time, if he did turn heel, you know they'd make a big deal about it. He would become the big story of WWE. You know. Yep. Yeah, but they just turned McMahon heel, and they're doing everything right now for, for the power struggle of the company. So unless they I, just want to turn him heel as soon as that feud is done with. I honestly don't want Triple H to be a focal point of the show. Like uh, that, he's had his time. He he's a part timer now for his reason. He's I don't need to be the focal point of the show again. I don't want him to be the focal point either. But if they are going to make him the focal point, like they are with this McMahon storyline. I'd rather see him play the heel. I'm I'm tired of the douchey baby face that he's become, well, that he's been for the past half decade. I I, I want the old school cerebral assassin back. I think it's time. Hmm. A really long answer to your question, Dominic. But do you have anything else? Uh... Well, about John Cena turning the heel. Does anyone remember how back at WrestleMania 29 when John Laurinaitis returned and The Rock gave him a rock bottom like? What was the point of doing that? We haven't seen John Lenortis for, like, what, over four months now? Yeah, when they did that, I Almost. thought that they would at least bring him back. At least more than one thing. They made a big deal about it, too. Like, they promoted it. Like, as if it's a real thing. At least they did on the SmackDown, and I don't remember if they promoted it on Raw at all. I think they mainly just him. did it to make... They mainly just did it to make people think that Cena would turn heel, but he hasn't yet. What do you guys the say? gobbledygooker. What about the gobbledygooker? <laughs> yeah, it was a he one-off. He could do the heel run. Hmm. Lee Garcia. And the Mexicools. I'd like to see <laughs> them boys come back. <laughs> <laughs> I like this theme song with the little revving of the... It, that, oh, my God. I just realized. There are, like, these ter- stereotypes of Mexican lawn crew. It's, they, I totally forgot that their mu- intro music was... The, at the beginning was like a lawnmower revving up. Completely forgot about that. No, I I did not just realize the gesture. I forgot about it. <laughs> we actually have a question here. Um, before we go, uh, by the way, Dominic, um, any other things that you wanted to mention? 